My name is Andy Brown, and I'm with the AU Review. You're on a you're on a whirlwind tour of Australia at the moment. Yeah, man. How's it all been going? Really great. Uh, this is my second time in Australia. Uh, first time was back in December. I came down for the Woodford Folk Festival, and I love it here. Feel right at home. And if this is winter, then give me more. <laughs> what's what's winter at home normally like? Uh, well, the day that I left. Uh, last time it was plus 35 here because it was your summer and it was minus 35 at home. So significantly different than birds chirping and me not wearing a parka. <laughs> what, um, uh, you're going to be coming back again too in a couple of months? Yeah, I'm uh, going to be coming back for another tour, um, doing some great shows then. And, and uh, like I'll be coming back more regularly all the time. So this is really a second home for me. Yeah. It's awesome. How have the audiences been growing for you in that time? I imagine the more you play, the more you get people interested locally. Yeah, well, it's just like anything. It's uh, spreading the word and, and keeping people up to date. and um, Really just to keep coming back because nothing worse than seeing somebody play and then, uh, you know, not being able to see them play again for five years or something. Probably forget about them by then. So uh, repeat visits and, and keeping the songs coming and, yeah. In between the Australian visits, more tours back at home, are you heading to Europe? What what else is planned this year? Uh, so I leave here, I'll go back and I'll do uh, some shows in Canada. I'll do like a cross Canada tour uh, in support of the album. Back here, and then uh, as far as 2014, looking at Europe, uh, US shows, uh, Canadian, Australian, anywhere and everywhere that I can play is really uh, where I'm going. Musically, what's happening for you at the moment and what's next? Um, well, right now, uh, like on the album, uh, a lot of the songs are kind of uh, songs all about reaching your breaking point and finding your way back. Um, obviously, they're still love driven because that's, you know, somebody told me one time to write what you know about, and that seems to be uh, an area of expertise or non expertise depending on how you look at it. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to evolve the songwriting every day and uh, doing some co-writes with some people and uh, I'm going to start doing more co-writes with more Australian musicians and musicians all over the place. So. Do you, you write when you're on the road? Um, I have a kind of a strange writing process. I, I write sometimes uh, very fluently and then other times I won't write a song for you know six to eight months at a time. So. Um, I'm always coming up with ideas, it's just whether or not those ideas turn into solid concrete things that I can envision singing for the rest of my life. Touring itself must kind of be an encouragement for that process. Um, it, it's great, I mean it's, it's really uh, the, the best part of, of what I do. I love touring, I think it would be an awful hard industry to be in if you didn't. Um, and it does inspire me and in getting to go all of these cool places is just the best part, man. It's the coolest job in the world. And people always say the Canadian and Australian cultures are quite similar, would you agree? Uh, the, from the minute I stepped off the plane here I felt absolutely right at home. So I would have to totally agree and it's nice to be able to look on the back of the coin and see the same queen. So, uh, you know, I mean, even the money looks the same. Color money, perfect. Is uh, we don't we don't have well we I guess we have loonies and toonies they're just not the same well, size. Well, I still call them that. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every Canadian I, that I know who's down here and and there are more and more every day, um, you know, they still call them loonies, they still call them toonies. Um, your money is one of my favorite things because I like the fact that your bill sizes are actually different depending on the amount of the money. And that was the first time that I'd really experienced that, so I enjoy that. So you're only paid in hundred dollar bills now? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> hundred, hundred cent bills, yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time, and um, I will have a performance for you in a moment. Um, do you know what, what you're gonna play for us? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play the title track from the album called Tin Man, yeah. which really kind of sums up um, the theme of the whole album, which is uh, not losing hope and, and again, reaching you know, the, the point where you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel and, and trying to remember that there definitely is one. 